Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Safty webcast. In this video, we will learn the steps to install and configure FTP server rule on Windows Server 2019. FTP stand for file transfer protocol. It is used to transfer files between computers on a network. In this video, I'll show you a very simple steps to install and configure FTP service on Windows Server 2019. For this demo, we are using the TSLab created in VirtualBox. We have one Windows Server 2019 VM and one Windows 10 client VM. This is a domain controller for pylab.local domain name ws2k19-dc01. For the testing purpose, we will be installing FTP service on our domain controller. On this server, already I have logged in with the credential of our domain admin administrator. and that's why we have sufficient permission to install and configure ftp service on our domain controller first of all we need to open server manager console on server manager console we need to click on manage and then select add rules and features on before you begin console we need to click on next select rule base or feature base installation and click next on select destination server Select the server on which you are planning to install FTP service. In our case, we have only one server, and that is our local server. On select server rules, select a web server rule. Let's select the checkbox and click on add features. Click next. Next again. Here you can read brief overview information about a web service. On select rule services, we need to select FTP service. and for that i'm going to select ftp server checkbox that is going to select ftp service checkbox if you want you can also select ftp extensibility but right now we are just going with ftp service click next and click on install okay as you can see ftp service has been successfully installed on our server 2019 computer let's click on close to close this console After installation of FTP service, our next step is to configure it. And for that, we need to open Internet Information Services Manager console. For that, we need to click on Tools and click on Internet Information Services Manager. Let's maximize the console. First, we need to click on our server name, which is ws2k19-dc01. Let's expand it. and then click on sites right now we can see we have only one site and that is our default website to create a new ftp site we need to right click on sites and then after we need to click on add ftp site here we need to specify ftp site name you can specify any name of your choice to your ftp site for this demo purpose i'm giving name my lab ftp site After that we need to specify physical path of the directory where we are going to store the content of ftp site for that we need to click on this three dots i'm going to select under c drive inet pub and let's select ftp root folder and actually this is the default root directory for ftp and that's why you can see the name is there ftp root If you want you can specify any other path as well. Let me click on next. Under binding you can select the IP address from the list to bind a specific IP address to your FTP site. So it is also possible that you may have assigned multiple IP addresses to your FTP server and in that case if you want to use FTP service on specific IP address that time you simply need to click on this drop down menu and then select the ip address so in that case the service will only works that particular specified ip address here we have a options to change the port number as well but right now we are going to use the default port which is tcp 21 and we don't have any ssl certificate installed on our server and that's why we are going with no ssl let's click on next 
Now it is asking us to specify authentication and authorization for our FTP site. Right now we are going with anonymous authentication. And under authorization, I am going to click on this drop down menu. And here we have a certain options that we are going to discuss in next video. But right now we are going with anonymous users. Under permission, I am going to assign permission read. So this means we are going with anonymous authentication. So anyone can access our FTP site with read permission. In the next video, we will configure basic authentication with specific group and with advanced NTFS permission. Fine. Let's click on finish button to complete the wizard. Okay, here we can see our FTP site is listed with ID number 2 and it is started. With the IP address 172.18.72.5, we can access this FTP site. For the testing purpose, let's put some data under our FTP root directory. Let's open File Explorer. Let me click on Downloads folder. And here we have uh, some uh, softwares which we are going to put under FTP root directory. Let's uh, double click on C drive, iNetverb, and FTP root. I'm going to paste those softwares under this folder. Let's click on paste. Perfect. So at this point, we have successfully installed and configured FTP service on Windows Server 2019. To test our new FTP site, let's jump to our Windows 10 client machine. This is a Windows 10 client machine, which is part of our Active Directory domain, Malbrut Local. And on this client PC, already I have logged in with the credential of our domain user test user 1. Let's access our FTP site using File Explorer. Let's specify the URL, which is FTP colon double slash 172.18.72.5 in our case. Now we simply need to press Enter key. And as you can see, user can easily access our FTP site without authentication. Why? Because we have set up anonymous authentication. And suppose if user want to copy some of the data from our FTP site, that time simply he or she need to right click on that particular folder or file and copy it. Let's minimize it and let's try to paste on a desktop. And as you can see, user is successfully able to copy data from our FTP site. That means our FTP service on Windows Server 2019 is working perfectly fine. Let's go back to the console and let's try to create a folder on it. As you can see, we are getting error because we have assigned a read only permission on our FTP site. And that's why user is not able to create any folder or if user try to uh, copy paste data from his local computer to FTP site, it is not possible. The reason is pretty simple one, because we have assigned read only permission on our FTP site. So this is the way how we can install and configure FTP service on Windows Server 2019. That's it for this video demonstration. Thank you all for watching this video. In the next video, we will configure FTP site with basic authentication and advanced permission.